Hi everyone, this is Blake Anderson, and in this video I'm going to walk you through Magic Bullet Look Suite by the makers of Maxon One. So I'm going to cover how I use Magic Bullet Looks to color grade my footage and add a, a given look to my image. Typically what I'll do is I'll start with Colorista, which is another plugin by Maxon One, and then I'll add looks and then add mojo and as also a renoiser. And so this process is my way to edit my footage. And in this video, I'm going to cover these uh, four steps, but I'm going to focus more on Magic Bullet Looks, uh, walk you through the different features and the different tools that you can use uh, using Magic Bullet Looks, as well as the different presets that they offer so that you can dial in a given look uh, depending on, you know, what kind of um, image you're going after. So in this video, I'm going to touch on Magic Bullet Looks talk about the tools and also the presets and then I'll also touch on Mojo which is another film uh, look that you can add to your footage and gives it that kind of cinematic or that you know very much movie vibe to your footage and then I'm gonna end with just talking about Renoiser and why you might want to use Renoiser for your next video as well uh, especially for compression uh, of the algorithm you know using Instagram or YouTube so in this video I'm going to cover Magic Bullet looks and I'm going to also talk about Mojo and also Renoiser. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day. Hi, so I'm in Final Cut and I'm going to show you how I set up my workflow in terms of color grading and creating a look in Magic Bullet Looks. So what I have here is four different adjustment layers. And adjustment layers is something that you can get off, you know, the internet. FX Factory has their own um, adjustment layer package that you can download for free. But in Final Cut, uh, natively, they don't create kind of adjustment layers, but it's just a workaround. But I guess the advantage of working with adjustment layers is that it just it's a kind of a workflow that a lot of other NLEs will use. Um, I'm thinking kind of like After Effects, Premiere, uh, I guess DaVinci works in nodes, but I guess it's similar to layers. But Final Cut doesn't natively, I think, uh, allow for that. But this is just a workaround that a lot of people will use in terms of their workflow. What I want to show you here is this is the four different adjustment layers I have. And what I'll do is I'll use Colorista, which is a, a Magic Bullet plugin. And I will drop Colorista onto the first adjustment layer. And I will apply a LUT that converts my raw image or a flat image in Sony, my Sony a 4 And I'll convert that into uh, Rec 709 uh, color space. And then I will use the color, uh, Magic Bullet Colorista to adjust you know, the basic corrections of the image. And I did create a video, a tutorial on that, uh, how I use Colorista. So I'll leave that link below as well. But once I've done that, the second adjustment layer is what I use is for my look. And so using Magic Bullet Looks, I will drop that onto that let onto that adjustment layer. As it opens up, it will show you these kind of three main areas, I would say. You have your templates or your kind of presets of your looks. And the way you get to that is by clicking this um, square. You can get out of it like that in the same way. Um, you can also have access to your tools and the tools are separated into these different sections. Uh, and then when you want a tool, it's basically you just drop it onto this kind of timeline here. And I guess the way you stack is important because, you know, the vignette here is, um, you know, on top of uh, this, these corrections, right? So I guess it's important to pay attention to, the, to, I guess, how you add these tools. Typically what I'll do is I will just go into looks and my go-to is using this blockbuster, these presets. And typically I'll use Chrono Steel. Uh, another favorite of mine is just under Blockbuster is Chrome Meter, and then also if I want to warm up the image a little bit, I use Chrono Gold. There's many presets to pick from, and Maxon basically has you know created all these different sections of different types of images that you want to get, you know, based off different film stock, based off of a certain you know look, maybe based on a movie, or it allows you to get a head start in some of your you know corrections. But let's say I wanted to make my image uh, black and white. I could use this um, under an analog tribe. I could use this tuition one. And this is obviously very strong. But what Magic 
bullet looks now allows you to do is it allows you to actually individually adjust all your um, controls. You know, you used to be able to only use um, the max slider once you create the look, but now Magic Bullet Looks allows you to actually, in each tool, allows you to adjust the strength of, of that um, tool, which is really great because then you can really fine tune your look. Um, but this just gives you an example of how you can really change the look of your image um, depending on what kind of look you're going after. But I kind of like this this fungus farm, you know, it makes sense, I think, given this forest image. But let's say I wanted to use this. So what it does is, it again, it look already creates all these tools below. You go in here and then you could adjust more, you know, your look. Let's just say that, um, as you can see, it's already added a renoiser, which is adding noise to the image. But let's say that we wanted to add a bit of mojo to the image. I would just drag that down here and then I, I could change like a preset maybe let's just say it's, it's blue squeeze maybe i want to lower it a bit so that's a way to add a tool right and let's say i want to write up this image a little bit another example is i could add either add exposure to the image or i could actually create a fill light and when i create a fill light um and that's gonna you know obviously up the image um actually sorry i don't want to create a fill light i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna create a spot uh, yeah, spot fill and this allows me to fine-tune you know the amount that I want to add maybe to my profile or to sorry to my subject as myself right and so let's just say I wanted up yeah, let's yeah what well, maybe 17 and just lower the strength a little bit but this will allow me to kind of highlight myself a little bit more right and so let's say we're happy with this image typically what I'll do is I'll lower the amount of the look because it's often you know too strong right and often subtle you know more subtle is better right uh, so I like that kind of look. My, you know, my face looks maybe a little bit green, so I could probably, you know, refine that a little bit more. But let's just say we're happy with that. Typically, then what I'll do is I'll add Mojo, and so Mojo is a tool again by Magic Bullet Looks, and it does some nice um, adjustments to the color of the image, and gives uh, your image kind of that teal and orange look, I would say. But they have also different uh, presets. Typically, I'll just stay with the regular Mojo. Uh, they're kind of normal preset, but you could use maybe all these different types, right? So they do have ways to change the image, depending on like if you want more blue, more green. Uh, but typically, Mojo is very strong at 100%, right? So this just shows you what it would look like at 100. Uh, gives it a very contrast, creates kind of a depth of field. Um, and it really crushes the blacks, I would say, and adds a bit of you know blue in the kind of highlight, or yeah, in the highlights, or sorry, orange in the highlights and blues in the shadows. But let's say I want to dial it down a little bit. The last step I would do is I would add a renoiser. Renoiser is a plugin by Magic Bolt Looks that allows you to add noise to your image. What I might do to sometimes is I might actually add an adjustment layer uh, as my base layer and might add a uh, denoiser to it if my you know footage is too noisy and then on the last kind of finishing uh, layer or the adjustment layer is i'll use a renoiser which just adds a little bit of you know i would say uh, texture to your look i mean typically with obviously with instagram youtube a lot of these um social media websites they um you're, they're you're gonna really probably not your audience is really gonna usually typically notice right uh, when after you compress even if you add a, re a renoiser but if you were using Vimeo or you just wanted this as like a you know this is a very important project of yours and it might be showing on you know film screen then yeah this is something to think about in terms of uh, adding noise a, a kind of a cool feature that renoiser allows is it gives you a bit of an advantage I would say over the compression engine. Um, typical creators, I don't know if they are using this, uh, but I found it an advantage using uh, Renoiser because I just like the image it gives out and allows me to, I would say, counter some of the um, compression in Instagram, particularly, and YouTube. You can actually click uh, preset here as, you know, compression proofing, and that's a good one for, I would say, for Instagram. And image vitamins, though, is another, uh, you know, one to choose because I think it just does some things to the pixels and just adds a bit of noise so you know I don't know if you want to zoom in my face like that but uh, you're obviously not going to see this on YouTube I'll try to make it a little bit more drastic with let's say you want to do a modern 35 and you can kind of see the noise and I might 
actually increases a little bit so you can create the gain amount a little bit more and you can see if you kind of zoom in here how it adds some noise right in this one i'm just going to stick with uh image vitamins and i'll zoom out here and basically that's the four different um, adjustment layers that i will typically use on my color grades and you know, providing um, myself, giving myself a look to my image. Hopefully this video has helped you kind of think about how you want to incorporate maybe some of these tips into your uh, workflow in terms of your color grading. Obviously, if you're using, you're shooting flat, you're going to get the highest quality image. And if you use, um, with, at least with a Sony, uh, the XAVC um, S um, I, um, that's the best uh, Kodak to use. Um, I also have a video about creating uh, shooting with the best settings with the Sony camera. So I will also leave that in the description. But um, yeah, in this video, I just wanted to kind of walk you through my workflow. And if you did like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.